Hello there guys, my name is Linda Dolkey and I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! in Australia. And today I wanted to show you a bit of technique, something I really quite enjoyed doing. Um, and we're going to make a really, really cute card with, it's an old technique, it's called faux denim. Um, but we now have this fabulous misty moonlight colour, which is a real medium blue and it is absolutely perfect for this technique. So I want to show it to you today, how simple it is to do this, to get the basic denim result you're going to need a misty moonlight ink pad or you could also go with a night of navy ink pad this will give you a more dramatic look um, I might actually use both today the other thing the main thing that you really need for this technique is a white ink pad now the Whisper White ink pad, this is actually an old style pad, we have new ones now, but I hang on to all my white ink pads, even the old ones, because you they're great for doing techniques like this. You may not want to get your new pads dirty, and sometimes having a bit less ink in the pad can be really helpful. So we're going to start with the white ink. I'm just going to have my piece of, um, this is my base piece here. And all I'm going to do, you can see I've already got a bit of blue on this, I'm actually going to put the ink pad down on an angle and run it from one side to the other, just like this. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same at the other end. And you can go over it a couple of times if you like. It doesn't matter if it goes dark and light. That's actually going to add to our look. And then I'm going to go sideways and I'm going to put it down again. And this time I'm going to run it the opposite direction so it's also giving us almost like a linen kind of a look but it does end up if we keep doing this looking like denim okay so I've got my you could you might decide that's enough but I'm gonna go for a more stonewashed look so I'm gonna get my misty moonlight ink pad in and I'm gonna do the same thing with that now I'm not gonna push quite as hard as I did with the white but I am going to drag it across. You can see straight away we get quite a bit of dramatic colour there. Go the other direction. Doesn't matter if you've got bits and pieces at different angles. I'm just going to keep going over it. You might find your fingers get a bit inky. Oh, really got stonewashed that time. That's way too much, but that's okay. Because guess what we're going to do next? We're going to go back with our white pad and I'm going to keep doing this until I get happy with the result so back over with the white now if I was using a brand new pad this would probably be too much white so an older pad is great if you have got a brand new pad don't panic just go a little bit more lightly or you might massage some of your uh, ink into the pad with a bone folder a little bit so there's not quite as much ink sitting on the outside. Can you see how we're getting this real kind of washed look? All right, so I've got some nice white bits here. You might decide that's enough. Actually, it looks pretty great. But just for some fun, let's go up a color and get our Night of Navy ink pad involved. So I'm just going to try and go a little bit light with this because it is quite dark. It's darker than the misty moonlight. Let's go the other direction. And you can keep going and doing this until you get the result that you're happy with. So now I've got quite a dark wash for my denim. I'm, I'm going to go back with my white again. See, I'm getting a bit of blue on this. I'm not worried by that at all. And I'm getting to a point where I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, I'm liking this. What do you think? It looks good, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to call that done. I think that's really, really nice. And I've got some really nice sort of different colour different grades of colour around the edges particularly and the edges is what I'm really interested in because I'm about to put a motif here in the middle and that's how that's going to look with my denim -y kind of look here on the outside. If you want it to be more stripy like more dark stripy bits turn your 
in pad a little bit so instead of running it flat but actually like turn it on an angle and you're going to get more of these kind of stripes but I'm just going to leave it like that for now I'm going to say that's enough and let's finish this card off I'm going to have some daisies on my denim because I just love the look of the white and the yellow against the blue and I'm going to be using the daisy punch for this oh look at my fingers all blue if you don't like getting dirty fingers <laughs> either have wipes handy or wear gloves all right how many will I have let's start with oh, I'll do three I may not end up needing three um, I'm deciding whether I'm deciding whether I would like to have my daisies doubled in fact I think I will I'm gonna have so I'm gonna cut four because I want two double daisies All right. so that when I put them together instead of having a daisy just like this I'm going to put them so their petals offset and it looks more full I like that look All right, let's set that aside a little bit All right so what I'm going to do here I'm going to grab some bumblebee ink which is a new yellow that we have and I'm going to grab my a sponge dauber that I'm going to use for this and I'm going to start hold it down with a finger here and I'm just going to ink around and around in the middle so we get a nice yellow center but I want to keep the ends of my petals white probably a good idea to um, wash your fingers before you're doing this because you'll end up with blue possibly on the end of your daisies so I'm just using one little finger I have got some wipes handy you know I probably should just go and quickly do that but in the interest of time I'm just going to keep going you'll get the idea anyway all right all right just like that and then we're going to use some glue dots and I'm going to put these together one on top of the other and like I said I'm going to offset them so that the petals are kind of in between just like that and the second one here I love glue dots so good for sticking almost everything do you know they're so good all right let's close up my ink pads so I don't get my elbows in them which has happened before who else has put their elbows in their ink pads? All right, so happy with those. Oh, I'm going to use some of our lovely gilded gems and I'm going to pop those in the center of the daisies. Here we go, just like that. All right, so daisies are ready. All right, so I'm going to stamp on my, um, my motif piece here my centerpiece and I think I'll use you could use the misty moonlight or you could use the navy for this and I'm just says just saying hello so let's pop that in the middle just like that this is from the tasteful touches this stamp set here this just saying hello which is a great little stamp set some nice words and some nice images all right so these are going to end up actually I might have one one on each side what do you think something like that I'm going to turn these over and I'm going to pop some dimensionals there I've got some little dimensionals I'm just wondering if I have any large dimensionals handy oh these will do for now oops I grabbed a couple then oh well <laughs> that's where I don't the little ones are great for putting behind small things but you really don't need them on something like this really this is more larger dimensionals are probably better but this isn't it doesn't matter it'll be fine all right I'm going to pop that right there in the middle just like that and I'm going to have one daisy here and I am going to pop this on dimensionals as well hang on and I'll grab those big dimensionals here we go so pop that there one dimensional behind just like that and we're going to pop that right there at the side and I'm going to pop another one behind here 
and you could have your two daisies kind of clumped together if you wanted to but I'm actually going to pop mine over here just like that now I get to show you one of my favorite new things ever and that is our brand new cut and emboss machine because I'm actually going to use this leaf from the sunflower dies with some of the just jade cardstock and I'm quickly going to cut out those uh, those shapes so this is the new machine it is called the new stamp and cut and emboss machine um, it comes of course with the plates that you'd expect them to I'm just going to turn it around so the handles facing towards me okay then we have of course our base plate and our cutting plates which all have numbers and everything on them so you know exactly which ones go in what order I love that right so I'm gonna pop my just straight here and I'm going to wind this through. What I do love about this on my, my old machine, I had to wind it through and then wind it back again for anything that was a bit more intricate. This one, one pass is actually enough and it's going to cut it beautifully. And it's very, very smooth. See how lovely that cut? Isn't that nice? So I'm going to do a couple of these. So this will just pop out because it's nice it's beautifully cut I'm very very happy with how this machine cuts it is really lovely <laughs> okay move these out of the way and I'm you could use all kinds of things to attach this I find the best thing is usually good old Tombow um, or you could use the fine tip glue and all I do is I pop you could also um, use, well, the other thing, let's do it. The other thing you can do, because the bottom is going to be hidden, you could also use a glue dot, which is actually quicker. So I'm just going to pop a little glue dot right there. And I'm going to slide that in here, just like that. So it's, it's loose here at the top. If you don't like this looseness, that's where you could use your Tombow to stick it down. So this one I'm going to go as well, same thing. But this time I'm going to go the other direction. push it down and I've got one last one here I'm deciding do I want it to be here or would I like it to be here I probably should have checked that out before here or here I think here just like that and now we have this beautiful denim background with our daisies I'm just going to attach it to my card base so I have a half an A4 sheet here or if you're in the US you'd be using half a letter piece of paper and then fold that in half again and I'm going to use a bone folder just to fold over that edge and make it nice and flat this then is going to go straight onto here and you could use um, whatever it is if you like you could use our new seal or seal plus or you could also use good old Tombow which is one of my favorite ways to attach this background so if it was me and I was choosing what inks I should have in my collection I would definitely definitely be making sure I had a white ink pad or two or three I keep all mine like I said I've got about four of them I use them for different things and I just love that you can do so many different techniques with them so you can paint with your white you can emboss with your white you can use it for lots and lots of different things and here we've used it to create this beautiful faux denim background i hope you enjoyed that i certainly enjoyed making it with you i'll pop this card up on my blog and my facebook page and uh, i'll see you again soon don't forget to subscribe and come back soon for another visit bye bye <music>